Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Wattles Few months ago, I was with a friend who believes money isn't that important. While engaging him in a conversation, he asked me, but can't anyone become successful without becoming rich? <laughs> you sure know the kinds of people who ask such questions, right? It's the people who have lost hope in life that think they don't need much money. Maybe that isn't a kind statement, so let me reframe it this way. People who think they can be truly successful in life without much money are people whose self-esteem has been damaged by the society and the wrong educational system. Can you truly become successful in life without much money? Except you want to become a Catholic monk. <laughs> I'm not serious, I'm not serious. Anyway, the first major lesson in the science of getting rich is desire to be wealthy is normal and righteous. By the way, if this is your first time on our channel, welcome to our world and consider subscribing because we will help you to read all the world's best business books under 7 minutes. Let's move to the second major lesson in the science of getting rich. While growing up with my poor parents, I had this idea that people who were rich did so by luck or something like that. Fortunately for me, I became friends with a man who introduced me to reading, so I started reading about successful people. I was amazed by the numbers of people who rose from nowhere to become successful. The more I read about successful people, the clearer I saw their common traits, characteristics and mindset. Before long, I disowned everyone in my family, except my mother of course. <laughs> you have a bad mind. No, I didn't actually disown my family. I simply stopped being part of them. I stopped thinking the way they did and stopped believing in what they believed and so you can predict. They hated me for being unusually different. Though I was born by poor parents and grew up in a village, I'm able to overcome poverty and build companies that make me richer than most people of my age just because I believed there's nothing magical about success. Believe me, there's nothing magical about success just as there's nothing magical about mathematics. Just as mathematical problems are solved by formulas, poverty could be overcome by following a set of principles and these principles have nothing to do with where you live or who gave birth to you. The second lesson in the science of getting rich is wealth creation has formula. If Wallace D. Wattles claimed that wealth creation has formulas, what then are those formulas? Well, unfortunately, principles of wealth creation are too simple for most people to believe they'll work. Take for instance, it's easier to worry about your poverty than to pursue wealth creation. It's easier to believe it's hard to make money than to look for ways to manufacture enough money. It's easier to focus on what you lack than to pursue what you want. This even becomes worse because journalists feed you with negative news from every side. I know, you love reading news and that makes you read about evil, poverty and desolation all around the world. Well, journalists consciously feed you with negative news because they know that your brain loves them. In the other side of life, there's happiness. In the other side of life, there's joy. In the other side of life, there's abundance. Though the journalist won't show you much of the other side, you must consciously focus on the other side. If you want wealth, don't think poverty. If you want abundance, stop worrying about scarcity. Now, I see you're thinking the laws of attraction. You are right. The third major lesson in the science of getting rich is focus on abundance not lack if you want abundance. Take a moment to think about this. More than 4 trillion US dollars roam around the world every day looking for whom to grasp it. The unimaginable amount of money exchange hands every single day, moving from people who love to consume to people who know how to create values. Now, this is where I'm heading to. With 4 trillion dollars moving around the world every day, how can so many people believe that money is scarce? I'm very sorry. If you believe money is scarce, you've probably been deceived by the society and the school system which programmed you that you must work all your life for money. Money is scarce if you have to work for it. Money is too much in the world if you have to manufacture it. To manufacture money, you must take time to understand humans want and take time to study marketing and other related business subjects so that you'll be able to sell values to the rest of the world and make more money than most people in the world. 
the fourth major lesson in the science of getting rich is nothing in the world is scarce, not even money if you know how to manufacture it. While growing up as a young guy, I have few friends who are good readers and positive thinkers. In fact, we started a club then and named it The Optimist. Now, you have the picture of how much we have read normal Vincent Pale. However, more than a decade after, today I still have some of these friends who are still struggling financially. But why? Positive thinking alone cannot make you rich. While negative thinking will surely make you poor, positive thinking alone can't make you rich. You need massive actions. The fifth major lesson in the science of getting rich is you must back your positive thinking with massive actions. What lessons do you think I missed in this book? What points would you like to add? Which good book would you like our team to summarize next? We love to receive your comments. If you love this summary, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. You can look at the description box to download my free business book which I call The 13 Secrets School Did Not Teach You About How To Be Rich. And look at the screen now to click the next video we recommend for you. We love you.